from YouCan'tBeSeriously.com. Uh, thanks for checking out another one of our unboxing videos. We appreciate it. Um, today we're going to be looking at again another Sierra Classic. Um, this one not quite as popular as some of the other ones that we reviewed. Um, this is Codename Iceman. Codename Iceman. Jim Walls, uh, he also did Police Quest. Uh, this really isn't a popular game. Uh, it was supposed to be a multi-part series uh, under the codename brand. Uh, there's a couple of magazines that had made mention to codename Phoenix. Um, but unfortunately it never took off. It is a difficult game, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it is polished up, it looks really good. Um, it, the game plays fun to an extent. Um, you know, there's some more advancements in this one over some of the other um, Sierra titles that had come out. But the problem is, is they went very detail-oriented. So there's a manual in this game that you have to read. For instance, in the very beginning of the game, there's a girl drowning, and you have to perform CPR on her and mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Um, and if you don't follow the exact steps, um, that's it. It's done. Same with um, naval procedures of boarding a, sh um, a ship uh, in the Pentagon. There's some other... Um, kind of holes that will get you stuck. For instance, somebody you can get an ID handed to you that's not yours, um, and if you don't check it later on in the game, you'll just get to a point where you can't go any further. So there's a lot of save and restore. And then there was also a system built in this game that would only let you save and restore so many times. For instance, you have to play, I believe it's a dice game, uh, to get a item from one of your crew members. And uh, if you're saving and restoring, saving and restoring, eventually you get accused of cheating. Um, and then it's it over. really didn't get a lot of good reception. Uh, I like it. I wish there had been more. I think that um, it had potential. It is fun for a simulator, not so much an adventure game. Um, you know, the, the landscape's gorgeous. The way it plays is uh, interesting. But it never made it. So um, I brought two copies here with me today. Um, this is kind of one of those games that you don't see as much. You see a lot more King's Quest in this one. Um, but we'll take a look at what's inside. As you guys can expect, uh, you know, there is uh, a lot of five and a quarter discs. I believe it's nine to install. Um, and then this version also came with uh, four floppy disks too. Uh, so here is where it gets interesting. This is the USS Blackhawk technical manual. Um, yeah, I'm not kidding you. This is a technical manual. You have to drive a size down version of a sub. Um, it's difficult as hell. To be honest with you, um, I get stuck a lot on driving the sub part. Uh, you've got a couple of missions where you got to navigate some icebergs um, and some other things you got to do, and it is a very difficult game to play. Um, and uh, one of the other things is you got to drive a mini sub. I mean, it's it's a complicated game. Um, the only other really cool thing, I mean, it didn't come with a lot of stuff, but you do get this uh, uh, an entire Western Hemisphere uh, submarine navigating map. Um, you know, that's pretty interesting, which you came with. Um, you know, it, you don't really need it uh, to get through. Uh, you're going to be using the technical manual a lot more. Um, but it was neat that they got this. I like when the games include the maps. And, um, I'd say give it a shot. Um, it's definitely not for everybody. It is a detail-oriented game, a lot of stuff. It is one of those games where you better be saving often because uh, there's pit holes. Um, there's a lot of uh, portions of the game where once you get to a point, if you didn't do something, it doesn't even tell you you did it wrong, but you'll get to a point and you can't go any further. Um, but it's cool. It's got a lot of mystery, you know, intrigue to it. It's got that whole spy feel. Uh, I, think, I still think when you land at the Pentagon and go inside, that's a really cool scene. Um, in my opinion, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's got an, a neat feel to it. So definitely give it a shot. It's a good game. It's fun. It's, you know, it's difficult. Don't go into it thinking it's going to be the best game that Sierra ever made. You're going you're gonna to get stuck in a lot of places. You're going to get to points where you can't go any further. It happens. Uh, I always play this game when I'm traveling. I find it passes time on a long flight very quickly. And uh, so I definitely give it a shot. So thanks for tuning in the video. Uh, you can't be seriously.com. Hope you appreciate it. And um, let us know if you want to see anything else. Thank you. Secret Agent Man, Secret Agent Man, they've given you a number and taken away your name. Mentioned in a couple of different advertisements. Um, oh, hold on. Bug here. God damn it. Uh, this was um, also created by Jim Walls. Uh, the, you know, um,
me. I want to say um one more time, Mike. You're this kind of um, navy uh, sub. I don't know what the f you are to be honest with you. I'm not so shit talking on my ass. Never even finish this game. I hate this game. Why well, I hate it? I mean, it's it's good. It's hard. You get to a point where you just can't play it anymore. You try to drive this f***ing sub. You can't drive the goddamn sub. It makes no sense. I've never finished the f***ing game. God, shit. Okay, sorry. Popular game. Uh, it was supposed to be a con um, series. The Code Man's the Code Code Man Code Code Man. Um, I don't know why I keep saying um. It's like I'm a f um um machine over here with all these goddamn ums. So, uh, sucker. <laughs>